welcome back to my channel. So this is the look I decided to create for you. I wanted to create a look for Valentine's Day that was more of a daytime look and soft and but still kind of whimsical and sultry and just really girly and something that still looks a fresh face and beautiful. So if you guys like this look, please stay tuned. So I'm first going to start with my eyebrows. I'm going to use this new product from NYX. This is called NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour. This is in the color Golden Peach and Black. So I always start off doing my eyebrows, brushing through them with a spoolie brush. And then I outline my eyebrows and then quickly fill them in. If you missed my last video, I did a detailed brow routine video for you using the new Anastasia Brow Definer. And I will link that above in case you missed it. And once I feel like I've filled in my eyebrows enough, I'm just going to take a concealer and define the arches of my brows. And now that my brows are done, I'm going to start priming my eyelids using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creamy Beige. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lid using a Morphe G16 brush. So for our first eyeshadow, I am going to use this new matte eyeshadow from NYX, this beautiful peachy sand color. And I'm just going to use a MAC 224 brush to generously apply this all over my crease. Next, I'm going to take this matte eyeshadow from NYX as well, and I'm just going to apply this to the lower part of my crease using a MAC 217 brush. Next, I'm going to take Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Inked in Pink, and I'm going to apply this all over my lid using a Sigma's F70 Concealer Brush. I really want to make sure I keep this to my lid and not get this into my crease at all, otherwise that's going to start lightening up the crease and start creating a different look than what we're going for. Next, I'm going to take my Maybelline Blush to Nudes palette and we're going to use this beautiful frosty pink color and I'm going to apply this all over my lid using a MAC 242 flat brush. And you want to make sure you start off using patting motions to apply the product and then you can swipe your brush all over your lid to make sure the product is even. And to darken up our crease, we're going to take this beautiful chocolatey matte brown eyeshadow color, also from NYX, and I'm going to apply this to my crease using a Sigma E47 shader crease brush. So I'm first going to define my crease, and I'm just going to go halfway in my crease with this dark brown eyeshadow. And just to blend out that eyeshadow just a little bit, I'm going to take a clean MAC 217 brush and gently buff this color upwards towards my brow bone. Next, I'm going to take my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and just draw a very small cat eye. Not applying false lashes but you can if you want to so since I'm not I am going to apply my favorite mascara all right let's move on to our face so for this tutorial I'm going to use the new Revlon 2-in-1 foundation I reviewed this foundation in my spring foundations video and I will link that above in case you missed it and since this is a cream foundation I'm just gonna take a MAC 159 brush to get the product out of the pan and then just apply this to my face. And now I'm going to blend it in using the new NYX Beauty Sponge. I can't quite seem to get the foundation color right with this uh, Revlon Color Stay foundation. The last color I got it was um, too dark for me. And this one seems a little bit too light. Wow, this is a horribly light foundation, you guys. <laughs> Not good. Okay, you guys, I think I'm gonna have to change my foundation. Sorry, I'll be right back. 
All right, that's so much better, yay! All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight underneath my eyes, and I'm just gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, and this is in the color Classic Ivory. And I'm just gonna apply this underneath my eyes in a triangle. Apply a little bit on my forehead, my nose, the areas where I want my face highlighted. And I'm just going to use my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette to set that concealer. I'm going to mix the two colors in the middle. And I'm using a Morphe M104 brush to apply this to my face. I'm going to set the rest of my foundation using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the color 310 Sun Beige. And then I'm going to take my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette again and mix these two contour powders together. And I'm just going to contour the hollows of my cheeks, a little bit around my forehead and my chin. And I'm just using a MAC Small Contour Brush for this. And since I'm creating this look, more for a daytime. I don't want my contour to be too dark, but we do want to add some dimension to our face. And again, you want to make sure you blend that forehead contour into your hairline so it looks nice and seamless. For my blush, I'm going to use this beautiful soft pink peachy blush from e.l.f. called Tickled Pink. And I'm going to apply this using a Morphe M104 brush just to the apples of my cheeks and then I'm going to blend this outward. This is a really soft blush, but I just love how enchanting this color is. I know that's kind of a weird word, but it just feels very, like a very romantic, pretty, girly color. And then to add some highlight to the tops of my cheeks, I'm going to take Hard Candy's Living Doll Highlighter and I'm just going to use the edge of that Morphe M104 brush. My blush on my cheekbone. And then I'm going to gently blend this in with my blush. I'm just going to add a little bit on top of my eyebrows. add a little bit to the top of my lip and a little bit on my nose my nose gets oily so I don't want to add too much and then I'm going to take a tiny bit of contour and add it to right below my bottom lip to create that illusion of fuller lips and for my lips I'm using NYX's Heather Bruyere And then on top of that, I'm going to use NYX's Plump It Up Lip Plumper in the color Jessica. And to finish off this look, I'm just going to add some mascara to my bottom lashes. And one final thing is I'm going to take this creamy matte eyeshadow from NYX and I'm just going to apply this just below my brow bone. so this is the finished look I hope you guys like it and if you do please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed so you can stay up to date on more makeup tutorials and product reviews and thanks you guys so much for spending the time with me and I hope you guys like this Valentine's Day look and I hope you all enjoy your Valentine's Day bye don't forget to follow me